Okay, problem 3.4 asks us to calculate the radius of a palladium atom with certain givens. We'll use equation 3.4, which expresses the theoretical density of a metal. And we will uh, look at the givens that we have. One well, of the key givens is that palladium has an FCC crystal structure, face centered cubic. Also, we have given the density of 12.0 grams per cubic centimeter. Finally, an atomic weight of 106.4 grams per mole. All right, well the most important thing, step that we can take is to know that the FCC crystal structure gives us this value for N. N equals, well for a face centered cubic we have um, Q such as this. And we have atoms on each face and also at the corners. Since the atoms on each face are only cut once, they're cut in half, and we have six faces, we have six faces cut in half. Plus, each of the corners is cut three times, so we have each of them is worth one eighth. We have eight corners, eight eighths, three is one, is four atoms within that cube. Now to actually calculate the radius, we need everything else except for the volume. We're going to use the volume. So I'm going to rearrange this equation to solve for the volume. VC equals N times the atomic mass divided by the density times Avogadro's number. In this case, we have N equals 4. The atomic mass is 106.4 grams per mole. And these units here are atoms per cell. All divided by 12.0 grams per cubic centimeter times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. Canceling out units, atoms per cell, atoms per mole, mole by the mole, grams over grams. Okay, we end up with a volume of 5.89 times 10 to the 23rd cubic centimeters per cell. But this is a face centered cubic. We're going to use this again. Now, the volume of the cell is equal to its side length cubed. Well, in order to figure out what the side length is, a, we have to figure out what it is with respect to the radius. But these atoms touch each other along this diagonal. This diagonal here is 
a times the square root of 2. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4 radiuses here. So a times the square root of 2 equals 4r, or a equals 4 over the square root of 2 times r. So fill this in here. 4 over the square root of 2r quantity cubed. That gives us 64 over 2 square root of 2r cubed. That's our volume. So we know what our volume is with respect to r. And now we just solve for r. r equals 1.38 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. But a nanometer is uh, times 10 to the negative 7th centimeters. So this equals 0 0.138 nanometers.